What's up this morning, God? We're starting us on our way, God. We're taking us through the night, God. Thank you for bringing all these lovely ladies here, God, so we can celebrate them, celebrate all the mothers, celebrate the sisters, Lord. We just thank God for listening to us, Lord, each and every day, God. Thank you for protecting us, Lord, each and every day, God. We just thank you for having life. Thank you for help, uh, help having strength, Lord. God, thank you for just being with us, God. And just thank you for being with us every day, God. We just thank you for the food that we got on the table. We just thank God for having clothes on our back. Thank God we have uh, shoes to put on our feet, God. And once again, God, I just want to say thank you, God, for this day, God. And just pray that we have a, a good time in your name, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 How y'all doing out there? Y'all doing all right? Dang, y'all y'all doing y'all happy to be here? I just like women. If they ain't doing it, it's just me. It's all right or whatever. I can, I can picture it right now. Oh, this look good. I mean, we could have did this, that, that. I can. I can, I can already hear the conversations. I know good and well they didn't do that balloon. Who y'all got to do this balloon thing? <laughs> who, who, who was skipped that one? I knew it. I knew it. I knew y'all was. Who got Because I know they didn't do that. <laughs> but I have you know that the brothers did every single last bit of that. <laughs> Took the time to do the balloons. We did the whole nine yards. First of all, so we can set the bar like we normally do every year. First of all. Second of all, because we really do love and appreciate you mothers out here. I know without a shadow of a doubt, and I don't know what your relationship is with your mom, no matter what it is, if it wasn't for her, you wouldn't be here today. Amen. And I'm mature enough to finally understand. I used to give my parents a hard time. <laughs> 
But I know what, if it wasn't for them, it wasn't for my mama, I wouldn't be here today. But most important, if it wasn't for my daddy being smooth, I wouldn't be here today. Now that I've established that, y'all ready? Y'all kick us on off. We're going to get this thing started. We're excited. Somebody just stole my program. Can I get another one? I don't see mine. I sat it up here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all ready back to our brotherhood? Y'all ready back to our brotherhood? Are y'all ready back to our brotherhood? That's what I'm talking about. We finna get ready to get this program started. We gonna start this thing off right with a song. Out of the field, man, man, keep us in this thing, man. Make some noise. 
give you guys a good old song. Sometimes the world don't understand how hard it is for a man to survive the kind of pressure that man are under. But one thing I can say about each and every one of these brothers, I know that they've been through some things. But no matter what they've been through, no matter what trouble they came, they still live it on out. Is that all right? Y'all give these good looking brothers a hand.
y'all give it up. Oh, come on. Y'all better do better than that. Come on. Y'all may be excused for that. Gentlemen, y'all better do better than that. Y'all may be excused for right now. Gentlemen, come on, come on, come on. I thought the brothers look good. Yeah, they look good. Yeah, I look nice. Oh, yeah. Man, we are so excited to be here, so excited to put this program on for you beautiful mothers out there, you beautiful women. At this time, we're going to get ready to continue on with our program, and we're going to have a welcome by Pastor John. Come on, Pastor. Y'all ain't going to clap for the family. Woo! I need y'all to get pumped up in. Come on, get <laughs> Mothers, we, we, we welcome you. You know, this is your day. Yeah. You know, brotherhood gonna make it right for you today. Yeah. Brotherhood gonna make sure you have a good time. You entertain. And guess what? We gonna feed y'all today. We gonna wine and dine y'all today. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, brotherhood. Do that welcome, Doc. <laughs> At this time, we're gonna get a presentation from our secret place of worship youth. If they are ready, if they are ready, they can go ahead and come on and do their presentation. The secret place of worship youth. Are they ready back there? It got to be a woman leading it if they run it late. Oh, wow. Oh, I know I talk that talk because I ain't scared to walk that walk. Right, no. You know what I'm talking about. I ain't scared. You'll be walking though. I ain't scared to walk that walk. I talk that talk. Are y'all ready? <laughs> y'all come on. Give these secret places of worship you behind.
At this time, if the youth is ready, they're going to present the cards to the mothers. church with us and not just you know dropping us off and leaving us here we appreciate y'all and if we need anybody in here y'all are always there y'all don't just feel like y'all be there for y'all own kids y'all there for all of us so we just want to show y'all how much we appreciate everything that y'all do and we love y'all Y'all give these kids a hand. We appreciate the youth, the best worship youth, and what you guys did with them. I listen to them talk all the time, and I just be reminded of man how times have changed. She said that she thanked God that they come to church with her, but we would have paid anything for our chances to drop us off and just leave. Oh, what well, we finna cut up, have a field day at church, man. So I just thank God for these youth. They want you. They want the parents with them. But we was trying to get rid of all our parents back in the day. Drop us off, please. <laughs> so 
So we do appreciate the kids on tonight. At this time, we're gonna get ready for our occasion. Y'all please welcome my brother. Y'all better clap too, cause y'all, let me tell you something. Y'all, I feel real unappreciated. Every time one of those brothers come up. I'm talking about scared for Father's Day. Y'all don't barely wanna clap. I'ma need y'all to give it up now. Exactly. What's going on there? Y'all give it up for my brother, Billy. That's what I'm talking about. My brother. Y'all give it up Happy Mother's Day to all the mother. I was one of us on Seal Pill and I stumbled across the um, word of inspiration to a mother. She is the most precious gift to us from the Almighty. As God couldn't have been present everywhere in the world, he must have created mothers to make up his life. Everywhere, everywhere in our life, mother's role is supreme behind the success of every great person there is the inspiration of their mother amen happy mother thank you thank you yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. y'all ready to see these brothers up here again yeah. Yeah. are you really ready to see the brothers up here again Y'all, let's get ready because we got another song we finna bless y'all with.
now we have to get and loosen this thing a little bit. Come on. Is that all right? Yeah. At this time, we're going to move right along. We're going to have a poem by our very own Elder Clinton Thomas. Y'all give him a hand as he prepares to come. Spasha Palm for the mothers. Yes. It's called Mother. Yes. An explanation mark. It says, Mother, what you mean to me. All right. Love is what you are to me, even when I can't understand or see. All right. A love so sweet, the one that shares her life with me. All right. Mother, you carried you mother you cared when others mistreated me. And even when they hated me, reaching for me when I feel unreachable, yeah, loves me when I feel unlovable. Yeah, Your heart speaks to me when I've done the unspeakable. Silently, you cried for me when my heart was too broken to cry for itself. Yeah. Mother, I have always loved you, even when my words were unspoken. Yes, sir. Somehow you always knew I always needed you, and I do. Yes, sir. That's what you mean to me. Amen. Yeah. Talking about motherhood. Like that. I ain't even the mother, and I felt tough. That broke me. <laughs> At this time, we're going to get ready to receive our very own head of the brotherhood in the absence of brother sap because that's not real that's the that's the you know that's the man right there that's right y'all can we give it up if he watching i want y'all to hey, give it up brotherhood let me hear these brothers make some noise for brother sap that's what i'm talking about but at this time we're going to get ready for our message by our very own pastor later we appreciate him on today Y'all give him a warm round of applause as you get ready to come up and give us our word on today. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I appreciate the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you. We love and appreciate you. And we honor you, Lord. As we honor these mothers, God, for we know now, God, that there's always an appropriate time to acknowledge mothers, Lord, and let them know how much we appreciate them and love them, God. God, it's all too often, Lamb of God, that we overlook them, Lord, forget the things that they do, Lord, and the role that they play throughout our life. But, Father, we thank you for just giving us the mind and the heart, Lord, and Father, the brothers, Lord. We cannot say enough for how much we love the women and the sisters here, God. Even though they're with us on Facebook and YouTube. But Father, as we know, Lamb of God, the Bible tells us to give honor to whom honor is due, Lamb of God. And Father, if there's ever been honor to anyone, Lord, God is the mother, it's God. We thank you, Lord, for putting in our spirit, putting in our heart, Lord, and letting us be a part of their lives. We ask you to bless them continually on this day, God, and forevermore. We ask this in your most precious, holy name we pray. And every heart say amen. Thank you, Jesus. To honor. Stand before you all today. Speak to you all this Lord's day. Thank you.
appreciate the Lord today. Thank you, Lord. As we say all the time, it's always I'm in a privilege to stand before you all, and especially on such an occasional day. And we want to wish all of your mothers a happy Mother's Day. And uh, we thank God for you all. And as we say every Mother's Day, it is sad to say, but it is true that Mother's Day is not happy for all mothers and not for all kids, if the truth be told. Because there are some mothers that, that are carrying some loads and some burdens on children that, that just kind of wouldn't imagine that that child would put them through. And then you got some children that got mothers that have done them things throughout their lives. That you wouldn't think that a mother would even think to do that to anybody, unless and only a child. And so as we celebrate Mother's Day, please let us always remember that somebody ain't having the joy or the happiness or the thrills that everybody else is having. Amen. Amen. So if you are having a good mother, do have a good mother, please make sure you show them love, not just on this day, yes. but every day. Yes. Yes. And one thing for certain, you ain't got but one mama. Amen. 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 And one thing a man, if he be honest with you, he'll tell you that that, that mama will be there for you when daddy right. just turned his right. back on him. That's right. Amen. Yeah, mama will be there for you now. Daddy just, hey, you got to figure it out. You got to do this, that, and the other. Right. But mom will take that time up with you. So we know that in life, you got some people that experiences different things at certain points of their lives. And with that said, let us turn to Samuel, the first chapter. We'll read a couple of scriptures here. And it reads, Now there was a certain man of Ramathium, Zophim, of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Johanan, the son of Elihu, the son of Tahu, the son of Zoph, and Aphrodite. And he had two wives. The name of the one was Hannah, and the name of the other was Penina. And Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. And this man went up of out of the city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Hephni and Phinehas, the priests of the Lord, were there. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Penina, his wife, and to all her sons and her daughters, portions. But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion. For he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. He loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. As we see throughout life, there he is. One time, brother. Brother. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. And as we see here that women at some point in their lives, this thing kicks in that they want to make. And the thing of it is that some of them want a baby so bad they begin to get desperate. That's right. And when they begin to get desperate, they begin to get aggressive and possessive. Mm -hmm. And some of them, because they cannot have a baby, they seek all kind of means to try to get a baby. Yes. Some of them go as far as to even steal the baby mm -hmm. in the hospital as the mother just gave birth and waiting to see her child. There's nothing more damaging to me for a mother to be waiting on her child and somebody stole your child. Amen. But the woman, for some reason or another, have this in her 
to have a child. And so therefore, as this thing in her desire to have a child, it just wakes up some emotions in her that a man will not ever, never understand. Now, brothers, let me share something with you right quick to try to help you out. I had to learn this through the years as I develop a little bit of age. Man always trying to understand woman. Amen. Brothers, let me save you some time, some worries, and some frustration. You will never understand woman. And I'm going to tell you why. When God made woman, you were in a deep sleep. Hello. That's just a book. I'm trying to tell you. I just want to let you know that. Now, if you're trying to rack your brain, if you're trying to come up with the answer, and as you go and see psychologists and spend all that money with doctors, you were just in a deep sleep. That's the book. That's the book. That's the book. Now, that's, that's, you don't believe it. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, man. That is in the book. It says this. Genesis 1.20. And the Lord, God, called a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh and stayed thereof. In other words, when the Lord allowed Adam to go to sleep, Come on. the only people he knew was him and God. But when he woke up, he saw another woman. Come on. Matter of fact, that's the first time seeing a woman. Come on. So I can imagine God made Eve one of the most beautiful things that ever walked the face of earth. And so when he opened his eyes and saw woman, he didn't know where she came from. Right. He didn't know how she got there. Come on. And all day he knew he was ribless. Come on. Right. Amen. <laughs> so I just let you know this. He was in a deep sleep. Yeah. Just, just know that. And so as we look into this sister Hannah, and as she began to pray, we'll find that as she was just so humiliated that she had no other recourse. Listen what the word says. Verse 6. And after her adversary also provoked her sore, for to make her fret because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did, so year by year, and when she went up to the house of the Lord, so the provoked her, therefore she wept and did not eat. In other words, the same woman in the house was making fun of her because she can't have no baby. Now we just read that Panada had sons and daughters. And I can imagine a woman, you know how sometimes women can be now. Ain't nothing wrong with him. Mm. And I got boys and girls. Mm -hmm. And you ain't got a man. Mm -hmm. I can imagine being a woman and another woman telling you that she only bad sons and daughters uh -uh. by your husband. Yeah. And you ain't got a man. And she rubbing it in. And the thing of it is, see, when a woman knows that the man that she's with, now I ain't said the man that she loved. That's not that now. I ain't said the man she loved. Come on. All right. But a woman knows that the man that she's with is in love with another woman. H-E double hockey sticks. Oh. <laughs> Amen. Amen. In the same house. Uh-huh. I hate to be that man. Yeah. So. I wouldn't be that man. Come on. <laughs> so 
The woman provoked her because she couldn't have no child. But what could she do when the Lord shut up her womb? You know, people want to have babies, but it may not be God's will for you to have a baby. And one scripture I always think about in these days that the Bible teaches us woe to the woman mm -hmm. that gives suck in these days. That's right. The Bible warns us that times are going to get so hard and so difficult that you ain't going to be able to feed your child. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to be able to nurse your child. You ain't going to be able to provide for your child. And the killer thing is, these days, the child is so small until if the child sees some new iPhone that came out. I think what the guy's 13 out there or something like that. Child two year old can't read. Can't read. But they want that 13. <laughs> and guess what? By the time that little brother gets in the crying and snotting and throwing and slinging and kicking and pounding, he get, that child will get that 13. Right. Right. I don't care if light bill do, I don't care if car don't do, I don't care if food is needed to be in the house, that child will get that 13. That's where we at today. But I'm telling you something that's very disappointing for this generation. For your child to be able to access a phone at one years old and find any game they want, do whatever they want. To. But that same child that's 18 years old today, 16 years old today, cannot sign their name in cursive. They're ready to go out to work. They're ready to get a job. And cannot sign their name. That's right. That's right. A young man told me that over two years ago. I said, hey man, just sign. I said, hey, I don't know how to sign. What you mean? You're 15 years old. We never was taught that in school. I talked to another brother just last week. Another young man about to graduate out of high school. He said, hey man, come on and sign your name. Hey. I, don't, I, don't, I can't. What you mean you can't? They didn't teach us how to sign our name. You know who I blame? I don't blame the teacher. I blame you parents. That's right. If your child don't know how to say ABC by the time they get to pre-K, what time we grade pre-K start? Three? Three years old, four years old? If your child don't know ABC by the time they get to pre-K, something wrong with you. But the thing of it is, so many times we want the school to raise our children and then go up there and try to argue with the school because our child ain't learning. But the thing of it is, it's probably getting at home. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you got time for everything else, why not make time for your child? The thing of it is, people have babies. And don't know what they're getting themselves into. Right. I've seen women want to have babies just because the boy had green eyes Go ahead. and curly hair. Go ahead. They said, oh, I know he can make a pretty baby. I'm telling you what I heard. Oh. Tell you what I heard. Oh. I know he can make a pretty baby. Yes, sir. And then he go thinking he a stud, mm. thinking that he got it going on, and she didn't already case them out. See? And he thinking he's doing something. Right. You know, because she fine. Go ahead. She look good. All right. All right. So he think he got it going on. Mm. Hey, bro, that's me right there. And she already set him up. Right. And he think he's doing something. Right. And the other factor that they don't consider, they got some diseases out here, folks. Oh, that people don't think twice about. That's right. That's right. Even just kissing. That get you messed up a lot. I'm telling you, I was stationed in Korea. You got 12 months to still in the Korea. They call it a hardship tour because you can't take your family with you. And the gentleman over there, 12 months, time to come home. I've seen him being over there as much as 15 months and alone. Know why? 
Because they slept with them nasty women over there and got a disease. Oh. Yep. And they ain't going to let you come home till you get rid of that disease before you come over to the States. Oh, yeah. And the kill about it is that disease over there. <laughs> when they start giving you the surgery, I think they got three levels of penicillin here to treat you for some type of diseases. They start at the level that they treat you at here over there. That's where they start at. So folks, I know people think they're so hot. And they just got to have something. But I'm telling you, it's dangerous when you just go have something. That's it. And if you marry it, I'm telling you, God trying to warn you. Because too much lust going on in these marriages. If your wife ain't good enough for you or pleasing you, and you ain't pleasing her, y'all need to talk. Have a talk with them. Let them know. Don't lie to them. Don't act like you, 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 you're happy and you're being pleased and you know you're not. Because what's happening is something will get in your heart. When a thing gets in your heart, it's going to become a seed. When it becomes a seed, it's going to grow root. When it grows root, it'll become a big tree. And you're going to better cut it down. God. Come on. It's good enough for any one of us. And I'll make you this promise. I'll make you this problem. <laughs> if you're so hot to where you ain't satisfied your husband or your wife, and they ain't pleasing you, I promise you it's something to do with your relationship with God. Amen. I promise you that. Amen. If you get the love of God in your heart, right. that love of God for your spouse right. will make you endure whatever you got to endure together. That's, right. That's the thing, man. Like a young lady told us a few years ago. Said, Brother Lynn, the problem is when y'all generation have a misunderstanding, y'all ready to hang in there and work it out, see. Uh -huh. These days, they have misunderstanding. There you go, douche. That's what you do. Douche. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Like a church woman told me a few years ago, and I said this before, blew my mind, see. I was counseling with her. And me and she left. And the young lady said, she was so mad with her husband. And I said, I said, sir, I said, you trying to tell me if your husband was out there, lost dog circle, the big 18 wheeler came and hit him, and just, 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 just Demolish it by it. You trying to tell me you wouldn't feel? He said, I said, good written. Lord, help me, Jesus. I, I fell on my knee. Lord, help me. Help me, you. That's your wife. She had kids by it. Good written. Man, that's the wrong spirit. You know what it is. I'm telling you, man. It's your relationship with God. God will take all that craziness out of you. You know what I mean? You take it out. It's better if you love your spouse. Like I say, you know, I, I, I ain't been where I am that day. You know, this angel y'all see standing before y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't been that angel y'all see standing before y'all today. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I tell you, by the strong hand of God, and the strong hand of Sister Leonard. <laughs> Amen. I realized. It's more to being a man than just being a man. Amen. Hallelujah. And one thing my oldest brother told me, and I always like to share this, is that, brother, when you get out here and you get your wife, say, don't be beating on that woman. He said, because you hit that woman, you make your black eyes, swollen face, big lip. You got to look at that and say, I did that. He said, you don't want to do that, bro. That was over 40-something years ago, my old brother told me that. And I thank him till this day. I thank God for putting mature men in my life, respectful men in my life, to let me know I got to be an example. How you doing, brother? Did I ever meet you before? I don't think so either. But you know what I look at? Young men like this I've never seen before. I'm going to be an example of that young man. Right. Even though I've never seen him. He may not ever see me no matter the day, sir. Right. How he see me today is going to make a difference in his life. That's right. That's right. 
And all about what I know up here. Mm -hmm. My revelation. But all that stuff I learned in school, that ain't all about nothing, man. Mm -hmm. If a person can't feel no love from you and compassion from you, man, you lost everything. That's real. That's what we're getting at these days. You know what happened? I told y'all the Lord just showed me. All that material stuff mm -hmm. that you used to get them with, the woo them with, mm. that's gonna play out, bro. Yeah, that's right. Right. Material stuff will play out. Yeah, that's right. That's right. When that come from here, it'll start coming from here now. That's right. That's right. All that, hey, I get you this, I get you that. Don't be enough. No, man. Don't be enough. That ain't gonna cut it, man. That woman won't chew. That man won't chew. Yeah, <laughs> she enjoyed all that other stuff, man. But that woman won't chew, man. Hey. <laughs> Can I tell you the truth, you man? Hey, man. Yeah. And, but, but the thing is, we got it wrong, bro. We got it wrong. Let's just be vulnerable. I mean, people don't want to be vulnerable. But you got to be a man. You got to open up yourself, man. You got to let yourself go. Let that woman know how much you love her. Let her cry. Ain't nothing wrong with you crying in front of that room. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, if you hurt, cry. Don't be that much. You know they told me to be a boy. Boy, you ain't been a minute crying. You five years old. <laughs> Toe broke. <laughs> you ain't gonna be a man. That's five years old. Right. Don't be a man at five, man. No, my toe hurt. I'm crying. <laughs> Hallelujah. I go to Sister Lenny in a heartbeat. I like to let feel sorry for me, sir. Yes, I'm just being angry. <laughs> my leg, my toe, y'all see me walking right now here the day. Man, she was, I was outside by myself. I see this sister man come out. Oh! Oh! oh she was like, baby, what the fuck? Girl, right there. 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 I like to be spoiled. I like that. I'll be honest with you. I like my wife to hold me. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I'm just being honest with you. You know? Like the Lord told a few years ago. When your love go beyond sex. That's it now. You start loving. That's the one that's right. Hallelujah. That's the one. If you ever get that concept, <laughs> you're going to have something. That's, that's it now. And as we grow older, Sister Leonard, I'll tell you. We enjoy each other, man. Yes, right. Other night, I'm going to say this is cool. I ain't going up there. I'm going to keep it back. <laughs> I heard you. Oh. They know how I get, bro. <laughs> I can't help my love it for bro. <laughs> Shoot. I told y'all, man. I love you. <laughs> Other night, she said, she said, darling, I was so tired. I mean, I was exhausted. She said, baby, she said, yeah, I'm going to cry. She said, that don't sound important. <laughs> 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 I hurt too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you all right? No. <laughs> <laughs> she put a chin like that. She said, you know what I did. <laughs> she said, that ain't better. She said, no, I'm up a little bit high. <laughs> Take my sock off. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> just a thought. Just a thought. My life. <sighs> Oh, oh, hey, and man, look, we got down. It's all getting cold, too, sir. If the, the sun went down, the wind started blowing, we out the country. We ain't got no building block or nothing. She said, darling, she said, yeah. It was cold, man. She said, you want to get your face no. What you want that to cover me up? <laughs> you cover me. <laughs> I'm going to be all right, sir. All right. <laughs> all right, let me see you in the kitchen. All right, time to close. All right, time to close. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm keeping it real.
real, man. Right. Brotherhood. Right. I tell you, we enjoy each other, man. And you know, I enjoy her coming. She enjoyed mine, man. Amen. Just sitting down there and looking at the bird. Had one little old dog. I know I told you I'm talking about you. Had a neighbor had an old stray dog come up. We in the way come hound dog. You know, I said, I'm poor. get about 12, 12, 12, 30. And man, here he come. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Where you going? I'm going to get my gun. <laughs> Look about it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's go. Father, we thank you, Lord. Appreciate you. Thank you for this mother name. We'll pray the whole name. we pray that every heart say amen. Amen. <laughs> I really have. <laughs> I've been enjoying that word. <laughs> I've been enjoying that word over today, man. We appreciate Pastor Obey and God. At this time, we're going to get ready for our offer. We're going to turn the silver over into the hands of the elders. Let's go, guys. Get ready for this offer. <laughs> 